Bill Nye, the iconic science communicator, has spent over 30 years making complex science ideas easier to understand on screen. Through shows like Bill Nye the Science Guy, he made learning space fun for both children and adults. His work helped turn science from a boring subject into a thrilling adventure filled with wonder and discovery. Now, his focus is on the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, highlighting how far our cosmos knowledge has come. He says JWST's images are not just data, but stories written in light that show our place in the universe. JWST is a huge step in engineering, built by NASA with help from Europe and Canada space teams. The telescope cost $10 billion and took 20 years to design before its launch into the sky. Its mirror, 21 feet wide, is made of 18 gold-coated beryllium pieces that unfold like origami in space. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST orbits the Sun at a place called Lagrange Point 2 for a steady view. This spot keeps the telescope in shadow, avoiding light from Earth and allowing better cosmic images. Joost's power lies in infrared vision, seeing light that passes through cosmic dust and reveals hidden scenes. While visible light is blocked, infrared shows stellar nurseries and ancient galaxies hidden deep in space. One photo of SMACS0723, a galaxy cluster, bends light to magnify galaxies over 13 billion years old. This deep field image shows thousands of galaxies in a patch the size of a grain of sand at arm's length. Bill Nye calls JWST a cosmic time capsule, letting us see light that traveled for eons from early stars. Some galaxies appeared only 300 million years after the Big Bang, marking the Cosmic Dawn era. JWST reveals that early galaxies were brighter and more ordered than models in our universe predicted. This hints that unknown physical forces shaped galaxies in the early cosmos, rewriting science books. A major discovery is water in space. JWST found vapor in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a distant planet. This gas giant, 1,150 light-years away orbits so close to its star that it reaches 1,000 degrees Celsius, yet water survives. Using transit spectroscopy, scientists look at light passing through a planet's atmosphere to spot molecules. They found signs of water, methane, and carbon dioxide, all key clues to life on alien worlds. JWST studied TRAPPIST-1, a red dwarf star with seven Earth-sized planets, changing how we view exoplanets. Three planets lie in the habitable zone, where liquid water could exist and life might thrive. For example, TRAPPIST-1e may have a thin atmosphere with carbon dioxide, hinting at air around rocky worlds. Though not proof of life, it shows planets can hold atmospheres even with strong stellar radiation. JWST also looks at dying stars, capturing images of the Southern Ring Nebula, a gas shell in deep space. At the center is a white dwarf, a collapsed star core cooling over billions of years. Studying such nebulae teaches how stars send material back into the galaxy, forming new stars and planets. In the Orion Nebula, a stellar nursery 1,344 light-years away, JWST pierced through dust to find planet disks. These rings of gas and dust circle young stars, where planets slowly begin to take shape. Some disks have gaps made by newborn planets, giving us a direct view of planet formation in the galaxy. Bill Nye believes this may show how Earth-like worlds are born, giving answers to our own solar system's past. JWST even watches supernovae, like SN2022A, a star's explosive death that spreads elements like nickel and cobalt. These heavy elements enrich clouds that become new stars, and without them, life wouldn't have iron or calcium. Bill Nye calls this stellar alchemy, where the universe reuses itself to create life from star ashes. Joost's mid-infrared tool Miri mapped the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite of the Milky Way. It showed dust warmed by young stars, displaying how galaxies change through cycles of birth and death. It also found PAHs, complex organic molecules and key ingredients for possible life in space. JWST studies black holes too, like the one in Quasar J1007 plus 282, 12 billion times more massive than the Sun. 
How such large black holes form so early in the universe is still a great cosmic mystery. Data hints they grew by swallowing gas and merging with others, but their speed challenges current theories. Bill Nye highlights how JWST's findings are for everyone, raw data is released so the whole world can learn. One high school student in India even found a dwarf galaxy in JWST images, proving anyone can make discoveries. The telescope's CRYOCOOLER is a marvel, keeping instruments at 267 degrees Celsius, just 6 degrees Celsius above absolute zero. It uses helium gas to remove heat, a delicate process like balancing a pencil on the moon. If the system failed, the mission would end, but it has worked flawlessly, far beyond expectations. Fuel was planned for 10 years, but because the launch was perfect, JWST may last 20 years or more. That means it can watch stars form that will live longer than humanity, showing the scale of cosmic time. Joost's effect on culture is deep, its photos inspire music, poetry, and even visual art. A composer turned light data into sound, creating music from spectral wavelengths captured by the telescope. Bill Nye says this proves science and art are both paths toward truth and human expression. Some ask if it's right to spend billions on space while facing a climate crisis on Earth. Nye argues the technology helps us here too, like better medical tools and weather models. He believes JWST also brings nations together, with 14 countries working in unity to build the telescope. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.